guys, welcome back. This is part two to January's splurge or purge. I'm wearing the same sweater, I got the same makeup, I put my hair in a little half pony, that way I can tell which thumbnail goes with part one and which thumbnail goes with part two. So if you are not familiar with what part one was, uh, let me tell you about it. So splurge or purge, it's kind of like, do I want to buy it? Am I not going to buy it at all because I think this collection sucks? If you missed part one, don't worry, shameless plug, I'll have it linked down below for all your viewing pleasures. If January new releases sound interesting to you, you want to hang out with me for a little bit, um, grab a snack grab a drink, grab some coffee, whatever mood you're in, uh, and let's dive in to January Splurge or Purge Part 2. Okay, so the first item we're going to discuss in Part 2 is the Nomad Cosmetics uh, eyeshadow palette. It's called Nomad Lodge, I, I think. Okay, so the full name of the palette is the Wint, the Whistler Snow Lodge palette. Yeah, Whistler Snow Lodge palette. Okay, so it is described as a winter mix of glacial greens, frosty blues, um, paired with cozy neutrals and snow globe sparkles. This palette has seven mattes, six shimmers, and two duochromes. This palette retails for $39. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I want it. It's a splurge. I already ordered it. So Maybelline has the audacity to launch uh, a new foundation so they have launched the green edition it looks like that's like the, the line what the line is called they uh, are saying that it's a new green edition formula and it contains a minimum of 70% natural origin ingredients okay uh, it's vegan clean packaging the packaging is a hybrid of new and recycled material. So let's see what is exactly in this collection. I know off the bat there's like a foundation type product. So we've got the Super Drop Tinted Oil Makeup. Okay, uh, Tinted Oil Makeup? Hmm. It says it's got adjustable coverage. It's $8.98. So we've also got the Mega Mousse Mascara in brownish black for $8.98. It claims to have buildable volume formulated with shea butter and it provides a smooth, buildable, and lightweight volume. Okay, but mousse mascara? Mousse mascara. How do you make mascara moussey? Moving on to the last item in this launch, we've got the Balmy Lip Balm formulated with mango oil for $7.99. It comes in 10 different shades. And I don't know, it doesn't really claim to be a lipstick. Balmy Lip Blush. Is it supposed to be just a tinted lip balm? I literally want none of this. I feel like this is kind of a gimmick, yeah? Like, I just look at this and I feel like these products, they've got to be a joke. Right? Like, this is a joke. <laughs> yeah. This is... No. This is a purge for you, girl. Okay. So, Urban Decay has launched the Wild Greens collection. There is an eyeshadow palette, the Wild Greens eyeshadow palette, and a Wild Lash mascara. I think it's just a existing mascara, like in a package for this collection. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. Um, the palette retails for $44, the mascara $25. Off the bat, I don't need the mascara. It's a purge, whatever. I've got so many freaking mascaras. Like, I need to go through them and see which ones are even still usable, you know? The eyeshadow palette, though, let's talk about it. Um, it's got 12 nature-inspired earthy neutrals and wild greens. We've got shimmers, mattes, metallics, um, all in a vegan formula. 
and the eyeshadows do have a hint of avocado oil. I don't know if it's like if that matters or not. Um, I really like this palette. I think it's pretty. I don't know for sure if it's going to be a splurge because $44 is quite a lot and my eyeshadow palette collection is pretty large and I don't wear eyeshadow daily anymore. Um, so I just, I don't know if it's really worth my money. Am I going to get some use out of it? But I do really... I really like the, this palette. I've seen some reviews. I've seen some Heather Austin has done a video with like a look or two of this palette and I've seen her just like in like commentary style videos and she's mentioned that she's wearing that palette and I liked I like it. I think it's really really pretty. I think the shimmers are really really nice. I love green um, and I like these tones of green. They're not super like bold and in your face just like a nice subtle like kiss of green. I like it. So earlier this week, Jaclyn Cosmetics launched some additional lip products to, or lip shades, to the Pout Spoken collection. Cute little name. Um, I don't even care <laughs> about the freaking lipsticks, y'all. Can we please just look at the campaign photos, y'all? <sighs> First of all, I just... First of all, I just want to preface by saying that I think Jacqueline is absolutely beautiful. She's a beautiful girl. So I'm not coming for her like this ugly bitch. Like, no. But um, I just want to know who on her team didn't stop her. Who took these photos and were like, these are it, girl. These are the ones. But aside, aside from the campaign photos, we have seven new shades and seven matching lip liners. So a good little, good little drop, 14 products in all. Can we just real quick, real, real quick, talk about how in this collection she's launching a lipstick remover for $14? This is unnecessary. It's a gimmick. It's a cash grab. If you are cleansing your face properly at night, or even honestly improperly, if you're just hitting it with a makeup wipe, you should be able to get off your liquid lipstick. There are some really drying and really mattifying formulas that you kind of have to work for it, but just get a cleansing balm or a cleansing oil and massage your lips, girl. It's going to be fine. Beauty Bakery has launched a skincare line. I'm telling you, everyone is just seeing what they can, what money they can get their fingers on with skincare or skincare like products. This collection has a glycolic facial cleanser called Milk Sleep Repeat. It claims to remove impurities without stripping the skin. It's hydrating, brightening, and nourishing. It's got a creamy milk like texture formulated with glycolic acid, bamboo, bamboo leaf extract, and watermelon extract. Super fun. This sounds interesting. It sounds nice. We've also got the Better Half My Creamer. <laughs> that is cute. What is that? Oh, it is a lightweight, hydrating, nourishing moisturizer. There is an exfoliating facial called Coffee Break. It is designed to resurface the skin and provide clarity. So a lot of products are coming out that are clarifying right now for your skin. Um, with a healing blend of Moroccan lava clay, coffee bean, and rice extract. Okay. There's also a toner. Don't be chai tea. <laughs> it leaves the skin feeling supple, smooth, and bright. Okay. Formulated with glycol glycolic acid. Australian caviar lime extract. I don't know what that is but it sure does sound fancy. <laughs> this collection is not playing around, y'all. Goodness. We've also got a deep cleansing konjac sponge. They're calling the sponge Our Daily Bread. That <laughs> I freaking love that. It honestly looks like a little like roll or something. How funny, like an ancient roll, like, like, like home baked back in the day, like Jesus ate that roll for sure. Who comes up with the name of these products? They need a freaking raise, like for sure. 
So our daily bread gently exfoliates and cleanses the skin, removes dead skin and buildup made from natural eco-friendly konjac. I guess that's how you say it. Does anyone know how to, how to say that? What the heck that even is? I don't know what that is. I definitely am going to splurge on the moisturizer. I think the moisturizer sounds really nice. My skin, especially around this time of year, is a little bit more dehydrated. I have like patchy dehydration on my face. So I think this actually kind of sounds like something I need. The cocoa butter, shea butter. Yes, I want it. I love it. I'm interested in like that Our Daily Bread exfoliating sponge thing. It's kind of like ugly, but like I feel like it's really gonna like get it's raining it's midnight and y'all hear that people are driving but they ain't got no one at home who loves them drive safe y'all Jeez. anyways I really think I want <laughs> that exfoliating bread thing it looks interesting and I want to remove dead skin and build up with a sponge that's called our daily bread I want it so Makeup Forever has released a newer version, reamped version of, of their HD foundation. This is going to launch on February 16th. It's been a long, long time since I've used it. However, I do remember that I did really like it. It's like an OG cult favorite foundation. So it's really exciting that they're revamping it. Um, I don't really remember anything being wrong with the previous formula, but I like, I'm excited. Why not? Why not try something new? ColourPop has launched another one of their mega palettes. We've got the Rock Candy Mega Palette, 30 shades, just like all of their other mega palettes for $34, so same price. I'm not really super blown away. Uh, I'd be interested in seeing some more pictures like closer up. The row, like the glitters just look re really, really chunky. If you look in that row with like all glitters with that one random dark matte, like those like glitters or whatever formula they're calling that just looks really chunky. I mean, I get that the palette is like rock candy, but I don't want my eyeshadow to be to be like super chunky and like not, just not. So Mount has came out with some slick waterline pencils. They come in five different tones, oh I'm sorry, five different skin tones to provide a bright, wide-eyed, wide-eyed, geez, it's late you guys, I'm sorry. It says it's opaque coverage in one gentle swipe without tugging, ultra creamy, can be used as shadow. Okay. Claims to be transfer resistant for up to 10 hours. That's huge. 10 hours? I find that unlikely on your waterline. Maybe if you use it as eyeshadow on your lid, maybe it will, it stays better, but 10 hours on your waterline? Hmm. I find that unlikely. They are $19 each or $65 for the bundle. That's not bad. These are available now. Okay. They're available now on their website and will be coming February 8th to Sephora. Wow. Guys, I want the shit out of these. I want these. You guys, someone please tell me this is a joke. A joke. <laughs> Tell me who is, if it's not a joke, if this isn't a joke, please tell me who's buying it. The Oscar Mayer face mask. It's a sheet face mask that looks like a slice of freaking bologna. You can get it on Amazon for $4.99. This is disgusting. So an indie brand that I actually came across on Instagram, uh, Clarity Cosmetics, they've got a new palette launching sometime soon. The Bloom palette. I think this palette looks mm, stunning. It's perfect for spring. Like that really pretty blue right there. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. And the greens, the rosy tones. Ah, oh, this palette. I believe this brand is pronounced Gourmande. Gourmande Girls. They're another indie brand based out of Austin, Texas. Whoop, whoop. And they have launched an incredible 
incredibly beautiful palette. Look at this, you guys. It's called, uh, oh, it's called Say L'Amour. Y'all, I think this palette is so pretty. Uh, it's available now, and I ordered it. It's a splurge. I splurged. I did. Give Me Glow Cosmetics, also an indie brand, has launched a single multi-chrome eyeshadow. It's called Dragon's Blood. Y'all, <laughs> this is amazing stunning gorgeous <laughs> i love it i want it i'm gonna buy it this is beautiful i love this i don't have any shade color tone reflect anything i don't have anything like this in my collection this is really really cool splurge no doubt i don't even know how much it is i don't care I want it. Looks like we've got another indie brand releasing an eyeshadow palette. Uh, I have seen some reviews on this eyeshadow palette. Heather Austin here on YouTube. Actually, I'll link her video down below. She's actually, she's got a video um, reviewing the palette and then she just did her like top eyeshadow palettes for the month of January. And this palette was her number one, y'all. And it is the Plain Jane Remastered um, by Adept Cosmetics. I have never used anything from Adept Cosmetics. Um, this palette did go on for pre-order on January 29th, but I don't think it's like available for like regular sale. So if you didn't purchase it during the pre-order, you will be able to purchase it during like a normal launch. I'm assuming that you, that's usually how pre-orders work, right? I do think this palette is really cute. The reviews have all been super positive. They really make you wanna wanna buy it. The looks that, especially Heather Austin, that she's created and other content creators, everything's been really, really beautiful. Everyone has really, really good things to say about this palette. So I can't speak for myself because I've never used the brand or the palette, but I have consumed nothing but positive feedback about the palette. With that being said, I am not super into like these opaque, sheer, shimmery shadows. Um, I think this palette makes a lot of sense considering spring is right around the corner and I have seen some really full pigmented. I, I say that they're opaque because that's how they look in the pan, but I have seen reviews and the eyeshadow looks have been bold and beautiful so I'm just kind of torn I'm kind of confused like my mind doesn't know what to think looking at the palette while I think it's pretty and I'm excited that it's an indie brand looking at the palette I'm like I don't want or need that looking at the reviews and the looks that have been made with the palette I'm like well shit maybe I need that <laughs> so I don't know I'm at the point where I'm still at like that crossroad point where, I don't know, it's like very likely that it could be a purge, but I also might splurge. I haven't decided yet. And it hasn't launched yet, so I've got some time to think about it. Okay, so to close out part two, this isn't a launch, but kind of like an announcement that I think is really fun and I wanted to share it with you guys. And that is that Fenty Beauty is coming to Ulta. I know a lot of people love Sephora. I like Sephora too. I'm a beauty insider. I got my little card, I get my little app, all the good stuff. But I am an Ulta girl. I love Ulta. I'm sorry, Ulta is my jam. Well, you guys, thank you so much for joining me for part two of my Splurge or Purge January 2022. It means a whole heck of a lot to me to have you guys here. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. You know, interaction with you guys really helps promote my videos, helps promote my channel, helps promote all channels, but especially really super small micro channels like me. So if you have a family member, a friend, a relative, a coworker who you think would enjoy this type of content, feel free to share it with them. Um, encourage them to subscribe. Well, I love you guys so, so much, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.